my March favorites. This is also going to be my Friday favorites because I'm filming this on a Friday and I'm uploading it today, which is also Friday. Um, and it's also the end of the month. So this is going to be a combined Friday favorites and monthly favorites. So I have some products I've been using all month and some that are favorites from the week. So it's kind of like together. Um, the first thing I wanna say is, oh my goodness, I will be in New York in a week. I am so, so excited. I leave Thursday and so I will be in New York the 4th through the 9th. I am so, so excited. I will be at IMATS on Saturday. I'm going to be there with Laura or Mrs. Lola Lynn. We are so, so, so pumped to um, go to New York IMATS. I'm so excited because there's a ton of girls who I'm really good friends with here on YouTube that will be there and I cannot wait to finally meet you guys. Um, if there's any of you that are watching that are going to be there, um, please let me know and if you see me, come up and say hi and I will probably hug you because I'm a total hugger. So I'm just as nervous as you are. So if you see me, come up to me and I will be so thrilled. So yeah, I'm super, super excited. That's like my first excitement of the week because I'm just cannot believe that next week will be IMATS. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm so off topic. I'm just so excited. Okay, so let's take the two obvious. One, well maybe it's not obvious to anyone but me. I got my hair done. I no longer have really sandy roots. I have like a sandy blonde. If you have seen pictures of my son, Ethan, that's like my natural color. It's like a dirty sandy blonde. So when my roots grow in, um, it people think that I like dry shampooed my hair and there's a white cast. So it's a little unfortunate, but yes, I got my roots done. I did get some highlights. Oh, well, we'll talk about the fail in a second. I did get some highlights, if you can see them. So, and then I toned my blonde again, so my blonde's not so bright. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about my hair. Second thing, my eyebrows. Okay, so there's a girl in my town. She is like bomb diggity, queen of brows. I mean, she is known all over the United States for doing amazing brows. I mean, she is phenomenal. Um, so I went and saw her and she actually gave me an arch. So I have an arch. I no longer have like little tadpole eyebrows. That's kind of what they were. They like were like kind of big here and then they like tapered to be small. They're like tadpole eyebrows. Yeah. So my eyebrows, oh, I love them. And then she tinted them. I do not have anything on my eyebrows. I did not fill them in. I did not shade them with shadow. I did not pencil anything. They are like, I don't have to do anything. It is awesome. Super excited about my brows, super excited about my hair, excited. So those are two favorite loves. Um, I'll start with one fail. Actually, I only have one fail. Um, this And this has nothing to do with the product. It is just 100% operator error. Um, so I did my Fake Bake Flawless the other day, and I swear, every time I go to do fake, fake tan, fake bake, whatever, self tanner, I always look at my hands and go, oh, my hands look so wet. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my hands. Well, I do that and then I end up with orange hands every single time. I don't know why I do it. I do it to my feet too. So I'm like scrubbing my hands so that when I go to IMATS, you don't like shake my hand and be like, oh, it kind of looks like an Oompa Loompa. So yes, um, Operator Air, love the product. I just <sighs> need to stop trying to tan my hands. So that, that's my fail for the week. And it's totally Operator Air, nothing to do with product. But now let's get into some of my favorites of the week and the month and goodness. So. We'll start with some bath products. The first, and this is a Benji favorite too. I noticed he's been trying to use my stuff. This is the Caress Tahitian Renewal Exfoliating Pomegranate Seed and Coconut Milk Shower Exfoliating Gel. Um, I heard about the Caress line from my friend Prissy or Prissy in Pink. Uh, she always has such great recommendations. I will link her down below. Love this stuff. It is so good. I don't remember if this is the exact one she mentioned in a video, but it's the same kind of line, Caress yumminess. Um, it does, it smells like pomegranates and it smells like coconut. It has little exfoliating beads, but it's not super harsh. It's gentle for every day. And Benji's been using it too. So I think it's gender friendly and I just really like it. It makes my skin smell good when I get out of the shower. It's not like one of those shower gels that wash right off with the, with the water when you wash it off. So I really, really like this. So recommend that. Oh, and if you want a tutorial for this look, it will be up Saturday, tomorrow. 30th? March 30th, it'll be up. 
the next thing is this soothing shave gel with soy compared to the Vino Active Naturals Positively Smooth Shave Gel from the Up and Up brand from Target. I love this. It's a really nice shave gel. It was relatively inexpensive because it is the Target Up and Up brand. It makes my skin super smooth. Um, it's a nice foam. You don't need a whole lot of product. I've really been liking this. I don't know. I really love that. So the Smoothing Shave Gel with Soy skincare product I discovered this week. I am obsessed. I heard about this brand from my friend Trisha, who you guys saw in my end of the year favorites. She has decided to start a channel. I'm so excited. It's a glittery life. So, um, well, her YouTube channel is youtube.com a glittery life. I will link it down below. So make sure you subscribe to her. She doesn't have a video up yet, but she will soon. Um, and she ended up getting a Canon Rebel T4i. So the quality is gonna be amazing. And if you guys watched my end of the year favorites, you guys know she's got an amazing personality, a beautiful spirit inside and out. She loves God and just like the coolest chick ever. And I don't really call girls chicks very often, but she is one cool chick. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to her. I know she'll love it. And Trisha, I love you. Um, anyways, she mentioned 40 carats. To me, did she mention it in a video? She might have. But anyways, I don't remember what things she got from 40 Carats, but I picked up a couple things, and this one I've been loving. It's the 40 Carats Retinol Rich Skin Care Carrot Plus Mango Moisture Splurge. Drench your skin with retinol rich moisturizing spheres to visibly hydrate, plump, and stimulate cellular activity, paraben free. And I got this at TG Maxx for $4.99. And this is what the packaging looks like. Check your TJ Maxx. I hope it's focusing on this. There we go. And it smells so good. It smells mango-y and citrusy and lovely. And it's a really nice moisturizer. I love this. I've used this four mornings already and I just love it. So I highly recommend this. It has um, soy, antioxidant rich complex of carrot, mango, and apricot oil. Go get you some, it's good. The next thing is also a weekly favorite. Um, I bought this the same time I bought that um, moisturizer. And this is the Bedhead Mega Whip Whipped Marshmallow Hair Texturizer. And it looks like this, the packaging is cute. And I've been wanting to try this and I got it for $5.99. It is like a very thick paste. It smells divine. It smells so good. And I just take a tiny bit and I only use it when I do curls like this. So I'll get a tiny bit running in my hair and I just kind of go through and I PC, like piece out my curls. It just makes them super soft and gives them like some form and texture. I just really like it. Um, my hair is super soft and like silky from going and getting um, it dyed yesterday. So I like having a little bit of texture in there and I've been loving it. So check your TG Maxx, otherwise I would totally pay full price for this too because I really love it. You just need a tiny, tiny bit. So it's the Mega Whip Whipped Marshmallow Hair Texturizer. Okay, now to some makeup favorites. Um, the first thing is this corrector. This is the MAC Corrector in Light Peach. I've shown this a few times, but I just pulled it out again um, this week and I love it. It is just a peach toned corrector. Has a really nice consistency. I like it more than the Bobbi Brown corrector. And it's just really great. You just need a tiny, tiny, woo! You just need a tiny bit and you just go right under your eye area, brightens it up, conceals. It's just really, really great. Stays all day, doesn't get cakey, doesn't crease. Um, it's just really, really awesome. And they have a few different shades too, so you can find it online. So this one's in light peach. Chanel Soleil Ten de Chanel Bronze Universal. This is so nice. I bought it last summer, maybe, um, last fall. I don't remember. The summer or fall. And then I didn't use it very often and I have pulled it back out and I've been loving it and I use, I've been using my flat top kabuki for it and I just kind of get the side of my brush in it like this and then I just kind of carve out my cheeks and then buff it in and it's just such a nice finish and I do use this after I put my foundation on. So I do my foundation and then I'll put this on over it and then, you know, top it with, other, with whatever powder. And I really love it. It's a very natural finish. It does look kind of orange in the container, but when you put it on your cheeks, it's really, really nice. And it is a pricier product, but you hardly need any, and it's going to last you forever. Um, so I just really love it. It's a really nice cream bronzer, so I highly recommend this. Um, another bronzer is the Park Avenue, Park Avenue Princess, and it's a really nice matte bronzer. It looks really natural, great for contouring, great for bronzing your face and really easy to blend and work with. So I've been just loving this bronzer 
and the packaging is adorable. The next thing I've been loving is this blush called Adam, Adam, I always call it Adam, Autumn Catwalk. And it is from Rimmel. It's a really pretty like multi-toned pink blush. I don't know if these were discontinued. I don't know. Sometimes you can find them. I, I found some at Kmart, so check there if you have a Kmart. Uh, just a really pretty, like, I just mix them all together, and that's what it's on my cheeks. Love this. So, if you can find it, I highly recommend it because it's a really, really pretty color. And the last thing for makeup products, and then I'll show you a couple brushes, is my MAC eyelash curler. This thing is bomb diggity. Like, this I like more than any other eyelash curler because of the shape of it. I don't know why. I mean, it looks just like a plain eyelash curler, but for some reason the shape and the size of it gets from corner to corner of my lashes and it really curls them really nicely. It doesn't like crimp them. It doesn't make weird indentations. It's just a really nice eyelash curler. So I recommend if you're looking for an eyelash curler, this one's a good one. I like it better than my Japanese and I like it better than my Tarte. And I like it better than my e.l.f. because this one really does get from lash to lash or like corner to corner. It's really, really cool. Um, the last few things I'm going to talk about are a couple brushes. The first one is this e.l.f. brush. It's called the Angled Contour Brush. Mine's really dirty because I just used it. But as you can see, it's just an angled brush. And I've been loving this for concealer. Um, I like the tip of it. It's a little bit more flexible, less dense than like the Sigma tapered one. And I'll just get my concealer and it just blends it really nicely. You can get close up to your eye all the way out here. It blends, it's nice, it's great for something that has like a small little opening. Um, get your brush in there and blend, blend, blend. I like it and then I just take my finger and just kind of pat over it. So I really like that. I found mine at, I found them at TJ Maxx but my friend Laura also sent me two of them. And then the next brush I've been loving are these two blending brushes. Uh, if you've watched me for some time, you know I kind of like go back and forth with like what my favorite blending brush is. Um, it was like these pro blending fluff brushes, like the more tapered ones used to be my favorite. But because everyone is obsessed with Jaclyn Hill along with myself, like I watch her videos, I'm like, oh, I need to gra grab that brush and use that brush for that. Anyways, because I've been obsessed with her and like watching all of her videos because she's so inspiring and like her tutorials are seriously my favorite. I mean, she explains things so well. Um, so I've been going back to these more fluffy brushes for doing my crease color and I just love it. It gives a much nicer, blown out, softer effect. I used it today. Um, one is the Tapered Blending E40. Actually, they're both the Tapered Blending E40. This one's from the Mr. Bunny line though. So they look the same, but they feel way different. Um, this is Mr. Bunny, and this one's their regular one. So the foundation brush F60. I have been loving this for applying cream highlighter. So like today I used the NARS Copacabana, and I'll just kind of dab it in there. And then I just apply it on my cheekbones, and I've been loving this brush for applying any kind of cream highlight. My um, Luna from MAC, I love it for that. It's just a really... I don't know, I've just been loving it for my cream cream highlight. All right, that's it. That's all my favorites. You have a lipstick favorite, but it's in my car. I'm not gonna go get it. It is the Divine Lipstick from CoverGirl. It's a really pretty purple. I will, you'll see it in my video that's going up on the fourth, my prom tutorial. It's actually the lipstick I was wearing in the picture I posted on Instagram that um, people seem to like that picture. So yeah, it'll be, that tutorial using that lipstick will be up on the fourth, the third. We'll be up on the third. I had to go to IMATS, excited to meet you guys and excited to finally meet Laura. It's gonna be our first time meeting and we're like, the whole trip we're planned together. So we Vox like every single day. No, we really do Vox every day, all day long. And it's just really fun, like we've, became such great friends. Like I feel like I've known her my whole life and I've gotten to know her husband Daniel and they've got to know Benji. And so like all four of us Vox, like one happy family and we're like so excited. We're already like planning trips to come like to each other's hometown and to hang out. So that may sound crazy to some of you, but that's why I love YouTube. That's why I love this whole beauty community because you just get to meet so many amazing people and awesome friendships happen and it's just awesome. So yeah. I'm excited. All right, guys. So I hope you have a great week and I can't wait to meet some of you guys in New York. And that's all I have to say. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.